Talk about Sean Payton. I want to talk about the coach trade because you, you did a great job of writing up these new coaches. Sean Payton to me, to Denver, like is one of the better moves I think we're going to see, right? Because you're, you're stuck with this quarterback. You're stuck with this asset. And, mm -hmm. you know, you weren't able to get out from under it, right? And, and you're not going to be able to move on from it for a long time. Um, I think Sean Payton's one of the few, the few people in the league that can uncut, you know, can do anything with Russell Wilson to make him useful. The last time he was the head coach of the saints, they went nine and eight uh, with Trevor Simeon starting four or five games, Taysom Hill starting four or five games and Jameis Winston starting, I think the first seven games of the season, Jameis is fine, but you know, like that whole, and, and Ian book starting again, they went nine and yeah. eight, almost made the playoffs. Mm -hmm. if, if the Niners didn't come back in that but down 17 and week 18 against the LA Rams, the Saints would have made the playoffs that year at nine and eight. Mm -hmm. They struggled a little bit last year. Quarterback play was off a little bit. I, I also think, you know, uh, not having Sean Payton was a big deal. And, and one of the reasons why I bet under for them uh, back when we could bet it when I was working at PFF. I I think this is a bang up. I, I think the Broncos are not being talked about enough as a possible playoff contender in the AFC. I'm totally with you. And I think it goes back actually full circle to what we talked about at the beginning of the show where we were saying we wish we got to see coaches uh, unwind, you know, not intertangled with the teams, with their quarterbacks. And we saw that with Sean Payton, right? We, we saw him have so much success with Drew Brees. I would think arguably a top three coach, uh, you know, the last, last decade uh, up until, up until Drew Brees retired there, um, you know, in, in with, with Bill Belichick and, and John Harbaugh and Mike Tomlin and Andy Reid definitely in, in the top five as well. And, you saw the job that he did, and then you saw kind of what happened to the Saints uh, where they pushed chips in the middle to, to get a better roster without Sean Payton, but it didn't go well, right? They, they weren't able to get as good of offensive production. They weren't able to win as many games as, as they, they were used to with Sean Payton. So you saw his immediate effect of, of leaving New Orleans, and now you turn to Denver where they're also in, because of the Russell Wilson trade, they're also in kind of a win now stage where they have, have pushed these chips to the middle here. Um, and, and, you know, it's going to hamstring them in future years. So that's why you go out and you trade that, that first round pick that you have for Sean Payton. And I, I think it should work out well. Like you mentioned, like if, if anyone were to kind of fix Russell Wilson and do all the things that Nathaniel Hackett wasn't able to do last year, I think it could be Sean Payton just because of what we saw him provide throughout the different stages of Drew Brees uh, late career Drew Brees where his arm strength wasn't as good, but his accuracy was better or, uh, you know, Jameis Winston and then going on to, to Taysom Hill where, where he had to start multiple games. We've seen him do it with a lot of different types of quarterbacks, which I think should get Broncos fans pretty excited. Yeah. And a lot of different wide receivers and, and, and skill position players too, right? Like he mm -hmm. took a basketball player and Jimmy Graham and made him into what he became. And like, you know, the early years, of, you know, Marcus Colston was a seventh round pick that ended up being, a, you know, a multiple 1,000 yard receiving player, Debrie Henderson, Robert Meacham, uh, Lance Moore. Like they did stuff with guys that like they did well, Pierre Thomas. They did well with guys who weren't necessarily like what we would consider to be elite players. And they would always produce elite offense. And, and, and secondary to that, like offensive line, they just always did a good job of like, Andres Pete wasn't that great of a player, but like they survived with him. And like, um, you know, I, I just, I think, I think very highly of Sean Payton as a coach. 